Hi everyone, and welcome to day 28 of my 40 till 40. So yes, I'm still going. I'm having problems uploading here in Mexico for some reason now, but, um, and it's been going on for a while, but you know, I'll get them out when I get them out. But it's great to see you, great to talk to you. Um, I am just out and about Friday in Mexico, doing nothing, just, looking in places, window shopping, and right now I'm outside of the community market waiting for my friend, and so I thought that I would uh, put up a video, or record one at least. We'll see when this one posts. Um, today's topic, I wanted to talk about, uh, some people call it being a hypocrite, some of it, some people talk about imposter syndrome, uh, people use different words, am I qualified for this or that so I just wanted to um, talk about it in the framework of narcissism you know abuse and you know survivors or victims but also just um, black women's plight and, and trauma here um, and just in general so am I a hypocrite when we talk about narcissism we see a lot of people that our coaches are talking about narcissism um, and some people might feel like they're being a hypocrite trying to give advice to people that are going through it um, or just you know an imposter like you you can't possibly coach someone or help someone through this because you fell for this or um, you know you're just not qualified to do that and so uh, many women remain silent because they have been victimized, have been fooled, bamboozled, and they they close their mouth. And that's the worst thing you can do. Um, again, so many women from just the few videos that I put up about narcissism have contacted me. And I am not an expert, but I... I'm going to change that. I am an expert. When you have lived experience, you become an expert when you've lived through something. And I think that we as a society do not put the same value on someone surviving something sometimes. Um, sometimes we do, but other things we don't. So we selectively decide which things we um, will cheer for someone and say, yeah, they survived that. They're the expert. We'll listen to them. Um, and, and many times people look at women that go through narcissism abuse and maybe go through it more than once. I'll have a video that um, I talk about false starts. Um, and this is when it takes some time, right? That it's, um, sometimes it can be a cycle. Sometimes it can be a process for women to get away. So maybe they will leave, right? And then they're back. And so you'll see a lot of false starts of them starting over or leaving. And um, does that make you weak or wrong? No, it doesn't. It takes time. Just like it took time to build up to what it is right now, it takes time to rebuild something, you know, unlearn something. And so um, I'm talking to the women out there that don't feel like they can say anything. They um, feel very silenced because again the shame um that you know i fell for it or i'm going through it um i have had women that are going through something tell me don't do that that's a red flag and you could turn around and say like what do you know you're dealing with this or whatever but they're the expert they're telling you what they know that what they maybe haven't had the courage to leave um their situation but don't want to see you get into it and um i have to thank my grandma i know she's watching thanks grandma um both my grandmas have warned me about things that maybe they've gone through in their lives and um they made the choice to go through it or or maybe not uh, maybe didn't make a choice but went through something and told me don't do it the way i did it right and so um, it's important to, to own your voice. It's important to not feel like a hypocrite. Who am I to tell someone something and look at what, 
what's what's going on with me um or just feel like you're being an imposter now imposter syndrome you know you hear in spaces of the workplace and i'm just speaking from a black women's perspective um of you know making it to a certain point and feeling like you don't belong there um but i i recently read an article about um it's not in our heads right it's really the way that uh an organization is set up to make you feel like i i don't fit um uh, maybe uh i don't belong here um i need to probably prove uh that i i belong here and uh like how did i get here and i can tell you that i have gotten a lot of places i i have credentials but there's other areas in my life that i have gotten that um i sometimes don't understand how i got there but um i i must have what it takes and so if you are in whatever place you are know that you're there because you have what it takes and um no one's gonna find you out that you don't belong there you're not as smart as you know they think you are even if they try to make you seem like um you're not in my particular position my professional position sometimes I feel like I'm not um moving the needle forward and I have to have self-compassion and say Keisha yes you are um but that's from years of having to do things you know at a four times speed than anyone else to prove that I belong to prove that I deserve this or that so I'm also here for women that feel like uh they're in someone else's life <laughs> in someone else's story um no you belong you belong there and go ahead and own that okay so this is for the women that feel like a hypocrite because you went through narcissism you went through divorces you've went through uh, having children out of wedlock whatever it is and you, your business didn't succeed the first time the way you wanted it to um who cares you know keep going keep building and using your voice helping others um encouraging others sharing your mistakes i love to share my mistakes i i don't i don't pretend to be perfect i love that i make so many mistakes and we hear this from the great the greatest of greats right that they make so many mistakes because they're shooting to be great and if anyone's going to be great they're going to make a buttload of mistakes and so i love to share what i've done wrong and uh help someone see that even when you've made several mistakes you can be successful in whatever you want to do so that's my badge of honor my mistakes um and also i'm here for so the the woman that might feel like a hypocrite but the woman that also feels like uh imposter syndrome like they don't belong here in their position whatever they have um they don't have what it takes someone's gonna find out you know they need to work four times harder to prove um that they belong don't feel like an imposter you got this okay um there's some really cool stuff that i don't share in my life that blows my mind um or that i haven't shared and i'll share it in in the time that i should but i'm like sometimes i'm like whose life is this this is crazy like what's happening here just moving up to different levels um and not trying that's the really cool thing i used to try really hard to climb this corporate ladder and now i'm just really about uh doing things with the least resistance with with ease right um allowing things to come to me to to attract to me and um and wow 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 uh i have exponentially um sprung forward in success with that method versus trying to grind and chase and scrimp and scrape and scratch to get to the top um so i just wanted to share that you belong here and um what was the other one i said i said hypocrite i said um imposter syndrome 
or oh you're not qualified and so guess what you can do whatever you want to do uh and you decide what you're qualified for okay and so um you don't always need a piece of paper to tell you you're qualified if you know that's what you're supposed to be doing you know that's your gift you know you do it well you know when you do it you're happy and it attracts more more of everything more abundance of time of energy of happiness of peace of clients of money you know you know when you're working in your qualification um i can say my doctorate is in organizational management and leadership and while i use so many of those skills my skill set is used in all of the things that i my endeavors my many endeavors um they're not directly always related to my degree my credentials so um i am qualified i've decided i've decided keisha's decided i am qualified to do anything that i want things that i don't know how to do or i didn't know how to how to do and when opportunity knocked for me to participate in it i figured it out so if you had a figure figure it out kind of attitude you are qualified to do anything and you can get yourself qualified to do anything okay so you have to look yourself in the mirror and say i am qualified to do whatever i want to do okay and so just uh just know that all right that's all i have for you all um i hope you like this video give it a thumbs up uh give me a like give me a comment on what you think about being a hypocrite because you've been through this so you can't tell anybody nothing about that or you feel like an imposter you know you feel like somebody's gonna find you out you don't belong maybe you don't know what you're doing because you're in a unfamiliar environment or you just feel like you're not qualified or someone's made you feel unqualified or that you need some type of credential degree diploma that's always nice to to get if you're able to get that you know but uh it just depends on what you're trying to do with it and where you're trying to go um and so yeah let me know what you think about it okay so thanks so much for watching and i have some great topics coming up um in my other videos so i'll see you then peace